Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In today's vlog, we will be talking about on how to be more planet friendly around the house. Right now I'm living in a shared house in Australia and all the things I'm gonna show you, it might seem pretty obvious for you, but we're still doing them every day. And with just a little changes, we can show much more love for the planet. Uh, so yeah, let's get in the house and let's start over here in the, in the entry. That's how we recycle over here. This is uh, cans, plastic, plastic bottles, and all sort of uh, bottles. And over here we have uh, cardboards, papers. But I personally like to recycle as well soft plastics. And here in Australia, you can just drop your drop, sorry, your soft plastics to red side. Of course, you keep the back. This is uh, this is a program that takes all all sort of soft plastics, uh, bread bags. I don't know. Yes, soft plastics. It's in coals and bullboards. You'll find them there. And this is another way to keep all your rubbish separate. Because for me, honestly, it doesn't feel right to put all your waste at the same place. I don't know, it doesn't feel good for me. And we can help to the workers in these industries just by showing a bit of respect to them and by the way and also for the planet. Oh and by the way guys, that's what I do with my food waste fruits, vegetables, eggshells. I put it over here because if you mix it with all the rest of your waste, it will go to the landfill and it will go to, it will contribute to climate change because it's a lot of methane going from these ones. In case you cannot compost at home, please check sharewaste.com. This is a website that works all over the world where you can share your food compost and other materials with other persons who need it. Uh, you just need to do a very easy sign up process then click the icon closest to you then you will see what that person needs and to chat with them just press ch uh, connect with me and you're good to go right now we are on the kitchen uh, let's see what little changes we can do over here so to as I mentioned before to show much more love for the planet so for example when you're gonna use the kettle just fill it with the water you need for the moment when you are just washing your plates, forks, calorie, stop the water all the time, just put it on just when you need it. Here we use this bucket with a bit of water and also a bit of uh, soap and we think this way we are uh, saving of our water and soap but you have any other suggestion on how to be more planetfully with this, just let me know in the comments. Another thing I like to do is I keep these uh, bottles of peanut butter, this one for example is peanut butter, I fill it with water and then I wash it before I put it in the recycle bin. That's oil that I keep for the next cook if I have over, uh, instead of putting it in the sink, I think that's a better practice. And now guys that we are in the kitchen, I want you to think about this paradox. So Earth is giving us for free fruits like this apple, bananas, I don't know, look at that. Look at this texture, it's sweet, it's just amazing. And we as humans are paying, sorry guys, so good. And we are paying this planet by destructing, exploring, I don't know, this is not fair. I suppose it is common sense to think that the most we disrespect the planet, the more extreme the consequences will be. Esto no es una broma. Para el 2050 seremos 9,6 billones de personas. Tendremos el 40% menos de recursos para entonces. No estamos involucrados con el planeta. Estamos en un sinsentido psicológico. Lo que pensamos ha pasado a ser más importante de lo que es la base de nuestra existencia. La meditación y el yoga son herramientas simples. Cuando te vuelves meditativo hay una distancia entre tú y tu mente. Cuando esa distancia está presente, ves la vida tal y como es. La meditación es la elevación de uno mismo. Verás la vida clara cuando te eleves. Todo ser humano debería dedicar unos minutos para la elevación y tener una visión elevada de la vida. De tal manera, no podríamos continuar con esta estupidez para siempre. Volveremos a nuestros sentidos. Veremos el sinsentido de muchas cosas que hacemos y podrá ser inmediatamente transformado. And friends, taking advantage that we're still in the kitchen, I want to talk about what we eat as humans. 
I'm 90% vegan for over two years and I will never look back. I'm still eating organic eggs, honey and sometimes fish but that's because I don't want to supplement myself with B12. I prefer to getting B12 from natural ingredients but I prefer to be, I'm aware of I'm gonna have to stop eating them if I, if I want to be honest with myself but yeah I look into it so that little switch of just looking at what you have in your plate that's a ball for change of what we want to see in the planet and in the future generations it takes everyday people to make that shift and that shift really starts when you look what you have in your plate every time we eat we have an option we can choose health over disease peace over violence protection over destruction empower yourself and when you do you can ask this question is it time for a change hey guys i can tell you vegan food is so amazing here on the screen i will share with you my top three vegan channels that you can follow and just try the recipes and you will see amazing food all right friends and now let's jump into this area where we have the shower room toilet and the laundry uh, with the laundry i always use cold water eco-friendly mode or the faster the faster mode you have <clears throat> and i'm doing this for three years since i remember and my clothes are pretty good no damage also i would like to tell you that if you use uh, hot water that wears the clothes much faster than, than cold water and I always dry my clothes with natural light I think it's much healthy for your clothes they, you will keep them longer now let's jump into the next space which is the toilet uh, let's see what we could change over here to be more friendly with the planet uh, so look over here we have air, air fresheners and these ones I don't know under my common sense it's not something I would like to use just for the smell they contain a lot of um, chemicals, a lot of substances so what I could see reading articles is called patalets or something like that I put it on the screen and this one uh, you also find it in plastics, aerosols, uh, paints uh, so obviously that's not good for, for your health to smell that and also uh, these ones, air fresheners, are tested with animals to know if they are harmful for our human body. So we're using animals, that's really unethical for me. I will never be using these ones. I don't, we don't need it, honestly guys, we don't need it. And you use it, you use it because you think it's going to be much better for the next one using the toilet. But it, it actually, it doesn't, it doesn't do any good for them. So if you go to the toilet, you take a shit, you just tell to the next one, just wait one minute, you don't want the smell. But that's it. We don't need we don't need to use that one. And with these wet wipes, make sure if you buy these ones, if you need to use them. Uh, I will suggest that make sure you buy um because uh, biodegradable ones. Uh, I personally don't need them because when I have a shower I, I just try to wash myself with a sponge. It's much more eco-friendly in my opinion but yeah you need to buy them to make sure it's eco-friendly or even better with those two air freshener and wet wipes you can make your own uh, for the air freshener you can use citrix oranges lemon i think with the peels you can put them in the water and they will last i'm not sure because i'm going to use it but that's if you want to have a good smell in the toilet that's a, be a much better practice for the planet and with the wet, uh, wet wipes you can make your own as well, just use your fresh towel and some uh, essential oils, it will do the job. And guys, what I like to do as well, if I used to pee outside, because uh, we have a little garden outside and it's nothing bad, actually it's good for the plants, and you'll be saving 4.5 liters of every time you don't flush. Yeah, I know you can't do that all the time, or you don't have a garden, that's it, you can't. But if you can, yes, why not? Also, I try to, when I uh, take a shit, I try to have a shower right after. Uh, so I try to organize those moments together. I can't, do, I can't do that all the time, obviously, but if I can, I'll be saving a paper, toilet paper, that this is something that is being produced for us humans to use it once and just waste it. 
So anytime we can avoid that single use of something, we will be showing much more love for the planet. Same goes for the wet wipes. This is something is produced for us, again, to use once and that's it. That's, I don't think that's a good practice. Because remember guys, we are not the priority here, but the planet is. Yes, have a look at this perspective. No somos ni siquiera una partícula de polvo en este universo, pero tenemos una experiencia individual. Esta es la magnitud de la creación que nos da una experiencia individual aunque no somos nada. Mañana, si toda la humanidad se evapora, nadie nos echará de menos en este cosmos. Así de pequeños somos. Estamos tomando nuestra experiencia individual muy seriamente y por eso dejamos la vida detrás. Nuestra experiencia psicológica y nuestra experiencia física han tomado asientos delanteros. Pero la vida que somos está en alguna parte para allá atrás, la cual ni siquiera está en la experiencia de la mayoría de personas. El planeta es mucho más importante que el confort de una partícula de polvo. Cuando somos niños, somos tan solo un trozo de vida. Lentamente tomamos nuestra personalidad demasiado en serio, tomamos los límites de nuestra forma muy en serio y pensamos que eso es todo. Así que hasta que la muerte llama a la puerta, no nos damos cuenta de que eso no era todo. And now guys, let's jump on the last room over here, the shower room. Uh, what I like to do to be a bit more planet friendly, every second day, now because we are in winter here in, in Melbourne, I do a cold shower. That's not only beneficial for the planet, but also for yourself. Uh, you will feel the benefits right after the shower. You will feel more alert, more focused, and do it on an empty stomach. And what I do is I start the first minute with uh, uh, hot water. Then I stop the water, put my put my phone, wash myself, and then the rest is cold water. Uh, I just follow Wim Hof method. If you don't know Wim Hof, I leave your page over here on the screen. He's a legend. Uh, also, when you are brushing your teeth, just stop the water whenever you don't need it, and just try to save as much water as you can. I do it all the time with cold water. I just want to point out in summer when it's summer, I always do cold showers. It just feels much better. Um, I don't know guys, if you know any other thing to do in the toilet or with laundry, uh, shower room to be micro friendly, please let me know down below in the comments. I would love to learn these ones and I start to applying them as soon as possible. Thank you. Un simple cambio tiene un profundo efecto en todo, porque no es tan solo apagar las luces cuando no las uses, cerrar el grifo cuando te laves los dientes o los platos. Estos son una pequeña fracción de lo que realmente contribuye a un mundo más verde y mejor. Ese simple cambio de observar lo que tenemos en el plato es un voto para el cambio, para lo que te gustaría ver en el mundo y para generaciones futuras. Para hacer ese cambio se necesita gente común, cada uno de nosotros cuenta, y ese cambio realmente empieza con lo que pones en el plato. friends I'm gonna finish the video right here I hope you enjoy the video and hopefully you get something useful from it and please yeah if you have any other idea uh, any other thing to do around the home uh, to be more planet friendly please let me know in the comment section I will be so happy to to see them and learn from it and I'll make another video with those uh, as I mentioned before guys empower yourself with knowledge and after you do uh, maybe I don't know you can ask this question, if, is it time for a change? Maybe we all we've learned before, it is wrong right now. Uh, maybe it was right before, but as humans, we are constantly evolving and the things were right before, they, they're not right right now. So yeah, and that comes only with knowledge, uh, reading, watching videos, um, and after that, if you wanna keep doing what you're doing, yeah, that's up to you, but at least you know what you're doing. Cause guys, at the end of the day, if we keep going as humans the way we're going uh, we're gonna literally destroy the planet kill all the resources this planet has for us and after that what we're gonna do we're gonna eat the money we're making by destroying the planet uh, 
I don't think so. I don't think money is tasty. Um, oh, so that's why, guys, I think it's really important that you really know where your money goes, what industry we're supporting uh, by purchasing products. Uh, just make a research before you buy those products, you support this industry I was mentioned before, and that will be a, a game changer. I recommend you to watch this documental, it's called Dominion, it's on YouTube, I'll leave the link down in the description. Uh, so I'll be honest with you, I could just watch 10 minutes of it, but it, it did the job for me, it hits me for good. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave it down below so you wanna have a look, feel free to do it. Uh, that's it for today guys, thank you, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you on the next video, I love you all.